Hey guys, what is going on? Thanks for coming back to the channel. So today is another how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation USB. I have been asked this a few times recently, so I thought that I would show you guys how to do this. So there will be a few things that you will need. First, you will need another Windows PC with a good solid internet connection or you can use your current one that you plan on reinstalling Windows on as, as long as it's operating fine. Uh, you'll need a blank USB drive with at least 8 gigabytes of space and oh, just a reminder on that one that that flash drive that USB drive it is going to be wiped it will be deleted during this process so make sure there's nothing on there that you want to keep but a blank USB with at least 8 gigs of space you will need a legitimate Windows product key. Uh, there are many places to obtain these legally. Where you get that is up to you. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So first things first, on your PC that has the good solid internet connection, you want to insert your USB drive. If anything pops up, ignore it. It's, it's not important. It's going to get wiped out anyway. And so next, after that, visit one of the links in the description below. Um, one of them is for Windows 10 and one of them is for Windows 11. For this purpose uh, of this video, we're going to just choose the Windows 10 link, which I have preloaded in the Firefox browser here. And again, the link for Windows 10 and Windows 11 download is down in the description below. So you'll see a couple different options here. Um, this will be the update assistant, show you how to update from your current operating system to Windows 10 um, but what I'm going to show you today is just how to create Windows installation media so you are on the Windows 10 page just make sure you're on the page of the operating system that you want and then you will simply click download now now I just save things to my desktop I like to work off of my desktop so that is downloaded and it has downloaded so once you get this, you're simply just downloading the media creation tool. This will put you through the whole process of preparing your thumb drive, your USB drive, and getting Windows 10 installed onto there. So we're just going to go ahead and run this media creation tool. And it goes through this fun thing of getting a few things ready. Okay, and that didn't take too long. And then of course you're gonna you're gonna read every single word of this, right? We all do. Okay, just scroll to the bottom. Actually I don't even think you need to scroll to the bottom and just hit accept that you accept those terms. And we're back to getting a few things ready here. Okay, so it's gonna ask you what you wanna do. You wanna upgrade this PC? Um, you're welcome to do that if you'd like, but again, I am showing you how to create an installation media. Um, so we're just gonna click Create Installation Media, and we're gonna hit Next. Um, it's always a good idea to uncheck this. Um, if you're going to be reinstalling Windows on the same computer that you're downloading this on right now, you can leave this checked, um, but if you're putting it on another system that is not 64-bit, um, then it's probably not going to work out too well. So I always recommend just unchecking this. And if you need to, you can change languages. Uh, you can change a dish. Well, you can't because it's Windows 10. In architecture, you can choose 32 or 64. I recommend 64. And then just click Next. And then it's asking you, what do you want to do? So again, we have a USB flash drive and we want to install the Windows 10 media onto that and it does tell you there it needs to be at least 8 gigabytes so we're gonna next that it's going to ask you what drive I actually went ahead and put my USB drive in the system prior to uh, starting this video um, so that's what I'm going to choose and go ahead and hit next and it will go through this fun little progress thing and it really does not if you have 
a pretty decent internet connection. It really does not take that long. So we're just going to go ahead and skip ahead on this. Okay, then it gets to this point. That literally took about two minutes to uh, download it onto the flash drive here. And now it's going to go ahead and extract all those files and it's going to create uh, the installer on the USB drive now. So we'll go ahead and skip ahead on this one as well. Okay guys, so as you can see, that actually took a little bit longer. That was right at about 9-10 minutes. Uh, so then it tells you your flash drive is ready. So after that, that's pretty much it. Just go ahead and uh, click finish on this. Take that uh, flash drive out and put it in the computer you want to install Windows on. Uh, reboot it. It should pick up on uh, the flash drive when you boot. So it should see that and just boot off of that. If not, you might have to go into your BIOS and tell your computer to boot off a of flash drive. Um, but that's a whole different video. So anyway, guys, that is it. I hope this helped you out. If you would like to be a subscriber, go ahead and click subscribe. Don't forget the bell. And if you like this video and it helped you out, go ahead and click like. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.